back over here on video training tutorial three for the box we were working on um and actually as we left off we actually had a let me just actually set this up we had this nice box that we built we put a lot of love and detail into it and we made sure that everything is flopping okay it's wrapped around nicely you know we reviewed the whole box and now that it's all review we have it in the middle of our scene it's a scene that i created you could actually mimic something like this if you like i named this i put a square for the floor and like a half circle or um, maybe not a full half but you know just like some sort of like a slant for us as a backdrop and you see here um what the scene looks like from a distance and I'll provide you with this if you need as well it's just for you to kind of like do on your own I just want to see how far you get building this and I'll review the properties okay and then um here so here's the preview what I wind up doing is um, I added a um, color just a regular color just to see how this is you know how it's looking so the outside is all solid and it's working what's selected and what is not the little white board it's actually the inside of the box and so we have this set up <clears throat> i'm ready to go i think there we see yes so the little line here is it's the reflection from the table because i have this right now with a fresh snow that is high and it's just picking up some of these nuances but this is just only to um see what the box looks like you know um so now with that said um i'm gonna i already have in here the box which what i did was i remember the box art that we created and we saved it as a map file you know the uv map file that we created we saved it we, and we put it on a map folder inside as seen here so you're just basically gonna go to image load and bring that art once you bring it in which is um, i'm gonna turn this off for a second just focus on my own uh, settings here it'll come in and the first thing i do is actually go to uv and just go to uv map and remember we named the uv box art so just select that so it is activated and uh, the next thing we do is actually go to the gamma on the texture layer and make sure that it's 0.625 instead so it's actually going to give you accurate rgb readings which is what you want um so for one of the things i did was i set up like a, a base shader shader and i mean right now this base shader is set to to white I mean it don't matter what color because we're gonna have an image so you see like this best base shader this actually has the properties of uh, roughness is five so you know we have the blurriness activated because we want sunshine but not a lot because they not really hide shine not unless you want and then uh, the roughness to five clear code I have a set of 50 so you know this is how you get these little nice little nuances on these edges of the box so that you look like it's a realistic box and then um, pretty much that's it so when you brought the image in we already have selected what um, the UVs are and you activate it this is what the end result will look like it would just map all around the box so now I added a little um, noise filter I is going to enhance noise FBM just added that noise and just added like a really subtle it's just to break up a little bit of some of the imperfections so that's actually how <clears throat> this video is going to be a last quarter because it, it you know all the grown up work is already done all the hard work and everything but you see all the little things that uh, an actual box has this actually has and, and, and it's what makes it really interesting um so that's one of uh, now the next thing we're going to do is actually set up kind of like what we did in our rendering see we have a box in the front and then we have one in, in the back angle 
and you have some depth of feel and and, and um, you know it's rendered so you know you have a nice just look really nice and clean so how do we accomplish that so the good thing is like in the scene I already have like a template and I'm probably just gonna drop off like little guidelines or maybe like a drop of top view of you know placement so that you don't have to like kill yourself trying to figure this out although you could do your own or alter it however you like but just for this exercise um, I already had done this once before so if you go to the top view here and I go to items I have my um, previous box so this is my previous setup and all here's the X so what I'll do is I'll I'll basically provide you with a, a screenshot of this top view so that you could actually match if you want to match it exactly you know how everything is and you're just gonna take the screenshot and this it'll, it'll help you say like well you know he was actually in the, in the Z X we tilt the front one of the boxes a little bit to the right and turn it this way and then the one he cloned I clone basically you clone the box just move it back and rotate it a little bit okay so with that said if you go to the right view I have my regular camera I'm gonna turn this one off but I'll buy it on here if you see what I did with the camera is actually it's set up um, and you know by all means you could adjust this however you want mine's I just brought up and then I actually activated um, depth of field and what I wind up doing in the top view is just I make sure that the select point of this box is like basically everything in this area is going to be sharp anything over here back is going to be a little out of focus and anything from this point over is going to start to get more out of focus until like you know really out of focus at the end so um and here you got the settings so if i go to the scene now with our camera view and i actually bring in my scene to, let me see oh, I got the let me see camera so you see this is the this is what this look like um, so like I said everything from this point over is gonna be sharp everything in the back is gonna be out of focus and once you render this you're gonna have exactly what my photoshop document here looks like and that preview match exactly so um this was a shorter video but it's basically because we've done a handful of these i'm just gonna you know they're gonna be a lot shorter but at the same time you're gonna get a lot of them if you actually go back and you know review them you know at the same time you could always shoot me an email if you have any questions in the process this is actually a tricky box to build by the way so um, don't be fooled that is the easiest thing um, it's a really cool project to build because if you manage to build boxes properly the way these are built you'll be able to um, build any box you like and all your boxes will look this beautiful at the end or as beautiful as you want them to make make them look all right so till the next one I'm going to actually upload all these videos right about now and shoot an email and I look forward to receiving your emails with um, questions or even samples of whatever you come up with all right thank you bye